Han says, hopefully one of you can help me with a Wii problem I have got since a few days. I used to mount an Wii ISO problem. file via a batch <laughs> file. Mounting an ISO file. Don't chafe yourself. Uh, I did so by <laughs> Explorer. Uh, uh, this used to work like a charm, however, not so anymore. I'm using Windows 11. Is there an alternative way to mount an ISO file via a batch file? So, number one, I love the we problem. Maybe see I a like, doctor for that. I, I like <laughs> the very descriptive of, 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 of mounting a file, you know? Yeah. Like, whoa, yeah. Maybe you definitely see a doctor. Are we in a mounting problem? I just, you know. <laughs> there might be a problem yeah. doing these sessions late on a Friday. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for me, it's Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Uh, yeah. So, it's just like, I'm still not awake. <laughs> yeah. The other, the other thing I have with his question is, is he talks about a batch file. Who still uses batch files? Um, but uh, the, the long and short of it is, in Windows 11, you can't do it anymore. Uh, the only way you can do it is, which with everything else, is uh, via PowerShell. So there's actually a, uh, a mount command, a mount disk image uh, command in PowerShell. So all you need to do is inside of your batch file, um, or which is now referred to as more like a command file because uh, yeah. batch files were old school. Uh, mm. But a command file, uh, basically what you put in there is just a, the word PowerShell um, space and then a hyphen no profile because you don't want anything to load uh, for you. Um, and then the use the uh, mount hyphen disk image and the name of the ISO uh, and give it a drive letter that it, you want it to mount to. So it's really kind of simple. It's a one-liner, you know, just a real simple one-liner. Um, but that'll do the same thing inside of your your batch file that you know you've done before. Yeah. I, do, do we need to add anything to that? I mean, that's how you do it. That's yeah. how you do it. That's how. Yeah. That's anything how it is like, going forward. <laughs> yeah, like anything, mapping file shares and all that kind of stuff, like to Azure drives and all that's all PowerShell now. It's all PowerShell. You can still use net use. Um, and mm -hmm. I know there are a lot of folks that still have them in their login scripts and stuff like that. So, you know, net use is still there and I think it will be, you know, there. But yeah, you should start to get a little bit more modern. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Net use sometimes can be so hit and miss for me. Like I can run it three times before it actually shows up or whatever. Yeah. But my PowerShell, man, I run that. I'm done. It's there. It's ready to go. Han says, Han's "Hope, day. yeah. I'm sorry. What? It's Han's day. Yeah, I'm Han's free. Uh, all right. <laughs> Better than Han, Han Solo. <laughs> he died. He did. <laughs> He's killed. Really sad. But, yes, uh, it was. It is a family issue, though. I don't want to get involved. Yeah." <laughs>